gentlemen, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for this devotional today. I'm excited about this one. It's Daniel 4, verse 19. Uh, we're jumping into the story where uh, Nebuchadnezzar has just told Daniel his dream, and then right before Daniel interprets it, there's this kind of dramatic pause in here. Let me read this sentence. It reads, Then Daniel, whose name was Belteshazzar, was dismayed for a while, and his thoughts alarmed him. So uh, Daniel's concerned about what he's got to say. Then the king answered and said to him, Belteshazzar, let not the dream or the interpretation alarm you. So it lets him off the hook. And then Belteshazzar answered and said, my lord, may the dream be for those who hate you and its interpretation be for your enemies. Uh, we all know, I think, here that Daniel's about to deliver some terrible, <laughs> bad, awful news uh, to this king. But remember, we, we got to remember that this, this king is his opposition. I mean, he is politically, he's religiously, he's philosophically and pragmatically opposed to everything that Daniel is about and his God. And this is just a guess, but I think most men in this situation would kind of be delighted <laughs> they would be delighted that, that God was bringing justice to this king. He has, after all, done, done some awful things to God's people, and he's rejected God. But the way that Daniel like stewards this bad news is really notable here. We learn from his example how a, a man of God stewards challenging moments. We read here that he's actually like dismayed, uh, he's alarmed, and so he approaches this situation with respect and care to this king because he's got to deliver some news that means Nebuchadnezzar's uh, kingdom is coming to an end. You know, the reality is, is that God's man is, is always given this tremendous responsibility, both for the good news and the bad news. <laughs> now, we love the good news, well, because it's good, right? But to share the good news, we have to share the bad news. And we have to share the bad news in a way that others can know the truth of their sin and still see hope in God. And I think Daniel at this moment feels the weight of this stewardship and therefore is dismayed and alarmed. He's not just afraid of how Nebuchadnezzar might respond, but he's experiencing this kind of reverent, holy fear about a message God gave him that he was required to steward. You know, gentlemen, you are going to walk into a world today that needs both the good news and the bad news. So I want you to charge into it with this reverent fear that, that God might bring you into someone's life today to deliver both those messages. And then when that moment comes and, and, and you begin to tremble, I want to encourage you to just say what God is calling you to say. And don't make it about you. It's not your message. It's God's. All of it. Both the good and the the bad. And it's what he's going to use through you to point them to him. Fellas, I hope this has blessed you today. If it has, share it with someone you know. And with that, I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.